Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we ask your help to do the things that we are called to do and to go about service unto others, to look into our own abilities, gifts, and strengths and see where these resources, your will, will provide for others. Lord, help us not to be greedy in what we have, to be humbled in what we've given, so much so that we offer it forward. We pay with the overflowing flow of your love. Lord, be with those who are busy on their roads, who are busy on their journey. Lord, we ask your blessing upon the life we live together in society and community. Lord, that we not forget our call to, to reach out with good news and to serve those who need to, to feel your love and know that it's close. Lord, help us to be good communities, to be gathered in fellowship, not only one day for worship, but at all times to rejoice when we meet each other in the marketplace and in the workplace, when we are able to visit with one another and spend time with one another. Lord, when we walk in the garden together, may we walk with you as you first and, and intended and called us as caretakers to be present with you. Lord, help us to, to serve from where we are, but also, Lord, to receive service from one another wherever we are. Lord, as we go about journeys and adventures and vacations this summer, Lord, journey with us and guide our steps that each day will be a, 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 an exploration of the wondrous love that you surround us with, even in, in this limited existence, in this mortal world, that we may rejoice in you forever. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And today our reading is from Proverbs chapter 24 at verse 5. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. Now, I don't like to always think myself as wise, and some people might tell me that I'm a little foolish. She's standing right over there. But my strength, our strength, when it's real strength, doesn't come from the muscles, doesn't come from the mind. It comes through the spirit into all parts of our being. And when wisdom is at its greatest is when we are in fellowship with the, with the will of God, when our journey is taken in his strength. In those moments, we enter into the miraculous. We're able to do things beyond our normal capability. So when the Bible speaks of wisdom and strength together, they're not just talking about being able to take all knowledge and understanding and put it into good practice. That's great. But when we are able to take all knowledge, all love, all being, and follow God's will, we enter into wisdom and we enter into the realm of miracles where God is served, where love is shown, where the gospel is given, and where we celebrate together in our life in the kingdom of God. God bless and keep you. Amen.